you see, I think it's Beverly Boulevard, right? Yeah, that's, they. That's Hollywood. <laughs> if you know, if you know LA, you'll notice that they're either driving in circles or just driving through wormholes oh. from one part of town to the other. <laughs> yeah, there is there is no continuity between from inside to outside our driving coverage, back to inside, back to outside. You know, for one second they'll be on Sunset, the next they're on Fountain, the next they're on Vine, and it was only. It, and that is only really because that I'm shooting handheld or on sticks in the back of a car, and a, a lot of LA roads suck, and I'd have to just It'd be deal with really the fact bumpy. That, yeah, half there's it's not bumpy enough stabilization. What I can find, in the world. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I didn't have the money for a Movi or for a Steadicam, so you know I just took what I could get. You were there for some of this. You were you were sitting against my back, holding my holding me upright in order to get the the, uh, the shot stabilized for a lot of the driving stuff. That was a lucky shot. That that siren, that that fi the fire truck was a complete luck, lucky shot uh, to to bridge those scenes. So this shot here, I don't know, you know, we've seen this shot a million times in other. The guys slowly lifting their head out in yeah. unison. Yeah, I'd, I would say one million times. It's definitely there's a storied history of the two guys looking up in unison I mean, from. It, yeah, it's a trope, but it's also. It sort of become like this expect, almost expected uh, moment in buddy films. Yeah, it's familiar. It's it's not a bad thing. It's it's expedient. Yeah. Now we're coming up on a moment that is again very important to the growth of the show. The us figuring out what direction the show is going to take. Where in a couple of seconds, Ned is going to speak directly to the audience. And whose idea was that? Did he no, suddenly is... feel good about it? Or did you say, why don't you look at the camera and No, I, I always wanted him to look at camera at some point. Uh, one way or the other, that was sort of one of the, the facets of the show that I wanted to weave throughout it. This moment here where he's looking at camera. Like, you realize that A, he's to either he's totally insane or we're totally insane. And that he just, he has this capability to look at the audience and sell them drugs if he so desires. Like, if you could find him on a corner somewhere, he's out there selling some Percocet. I don't know. And his delivery of the line at the best prices in town is pretty great. There's, th that's, this is one of the lines that, if I want to be a complete asshole and quote myself <laughs> in normal conversation, I will do this. And then people will look at me and be like, is that? Is that for milkshake? Yeah. yeah. Did oh, you yeah. quote yourself? Oh, yeah. Did you quote your own line? Yeah. Yeah. Best prices in town. Love it. And this is sort of part of uh, the whole line of I do and sell drugs, I know who I am kind of moment is, um, you know, you, this is about who you, you, you're supposed to figure yourself out throughout these little adventures, and this is why we're here. But I liked it. I liked the way he delivered it. And this is Bum, Stephen Humphreys, amazing. Incredible. I think he's just incredible. And it, oh, we're coming up to one of the more amazing lines, the all right. The, what, this is totally Ned coming up that we decided to just carry through the rest of the season. And this, his line is, he's got this frenzied look as he delivers it, which I'm told is largely because it was 3.30 in the morning at yeah. this point. And I was like, bigger, bigger. He's like, I'm so tired. That, that <laughs> look right there. insane. The, all right. He did that, and I said, can you do this? Can you, let's just keep doing that bigger and bigger. It was, it's one of those moments, uh, again, of sort of embracing the lack of control, especially at 3.30 in the morning. It's Saturday. We've been shooting since 7 We've also had jobs earlier in the day, so this yeah. is probably our 22nd hour of work, and it was it was it was beautiful. It was it was delirium that turned into a magical moment, and I decided to run with it. And uh, I want everyone to take a look here for just a second. This sodium vapor light. This light is going away. Say this, goodbye. This orange light is all being replaced by LEDs, and I don't care how efficient it is. It just I love the look of this sodium vapor. It is just lovely. It's a golden light. And then we are out of episode two of Milkshake. That is, yeah, there you have it, man. Yeah. All right. Let's go into three. Let's go to three. Yeah, let's do it.